<laughs> okay, let's do this. Ooh. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and Millie is behind me somewhere. There she is. We are back and we're in a brand new house. Sorry. We're, we're so excited to be here. Thank you so much for coming today. Uh, in this workout, we have six moves that we are going to be uh, working on today. My theme for today is a functional full body workout. And what do I mean by that? I don't know if you can hear her. <laughs> but what I mean by that is no matter if we are focusing on our athletics, or our um, daily activities, I want these six moves to help you with our, she is so wild. I want these six moves to help you with both. So I say we get started. How many times can I do this with my hands? Today I'm going to be using dumbbells. I want you to have two that match. And if you have one, perfect. If you have maybe like a heavier book or something, I think that would be great. Uh, we're gonna be getting on the ground, so let's get started. Okay, so we are starting on the ground. We have three moves we are going to be doing. First move of the three on the ground is going to be a blue bridge. We do not need a dumbbell. If you would like to have a dumbbell, feel free. Let's talk about the form. Placing your feet as wide as they can go on the yoga mat, I want you to take your knees and abduct them, separate them further. We are going to be pushing all of our weight into our heels today. At the same time, I want us to recognize if our rib cage is open or closed. If it's open, I'll give you an example, we might have our ribs out. <laughs> Sorry. And what we're going to do, we're going to take our rib cage and we're going to close that, letting the lumbar lengthen. Hello. Onto the ground, you're probably covering up what I'm talking about, people. And pressing from the heels, keeping the knees separated, sending the hips up, lowering, keeping the rib cage closed. If you find that your knees are caving in, we're going to separate them and practice harder. If you would like to have a dumbbell, you can grab a dumbbell. I will be putting it down on my hip bones. We will not be letting go. Pressing the heels into the ground. Squeezing the glutes. And separating the knees. Good things take time and so if there's a lot to juggle between all of the key points, be kind to yourself, okay? Pressing into both heels equally. Here we go, separate the knees. Press for three and two and one. Lower down, awesome. We're moving on to our next move. We are going to be doing a parallel uh, chest press. Sorry, I was scared because of this little monster coming. We could have one dumbbell, we could have two. This is where if we don't have dumbbells and we need to put something else into play, now's the time. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna grab two of my dumbbells. I'm coming down to the ground. Now, we're gonna have the dumbbells face the ceiling no matter if we extend the arm or not. We're gonna exhale, engaging the core, pressing the dumbbells up. Keeping a long wrist line, I want you to think about carving the elbows back, 
having almost a 90 degree angle and then exhale, press up. I'm doing a parallel press, meaning the elbows are going to be next to my body, brushing up against the sides of the body. I love this because I'm really asking the tricep to wake up too. If you want extra chest, you could even have the dumbbells touching. Still carving the elbows back, not letting the dumbbells rest on the body. We're keeping tension the entire time. We lower and we're not gonna let the elbows rest. We're gonna exhale, press. Let's go for three. Two. Last one, make it a good one. Awesome. Gently, we're gonna bring one of these down. We might be bringing both of these down. We have an option. First, let's talk about it with no dumbbell. We're all gonna have the same upper body. Bringing our body down. Arms can be up to the ceiling, if you have a weight or not. We're going to use our core to lift the shoulders, giving ourselves a slight crunch and sending the arms back. Oops, I should scoot down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Bringing the arms back, I'm going to keep the core engaged. Arms will come to the ears and I will then crunch up again, lengthening in the core. So, if we add a dumbbell, this is going to be extra resistance on the abdominals. We don't need a dumbbell, okay? Be careful with your body, because if you do add a dumbbell, you need to know that as we send the dumbbell back, we're gonna really need to use our core strength neutral bend in the arm, nothing too jagged, nothing locked out. Option to bring the legs into a little reverse tabletop here. Lengthen. We're going to go for three. Keep the core engaged. Hey. Right, one more to do. Watch that. Oh, last one, last one. Uh, and lower. All right. We are halfway through. Let's finish. We have three more moves to do and we are going to be standing in all of them. We're going back to lower body and we're gonna do some squats. Whether you want to have zero weights, one, two. Let's grab our favorite and here we go. Now, me personally, I'm going to bring this up to where I would for the top of a curl. I'm not going to let it rest up here. That's not wrong. It's just for this variation, I want a little bit of upper back and chest and core. Keeping it close, I'm going to find my footing, send the hips back, and push those heels into the ground, squeezing the glutes. You might be parallel with your feet. You might have a slight wider base in a turnout. Whichever version you have, send those hips back. I want you to think, those heels are pressing into the ground, squeezing those glutes. We don't need to fully stretch the legs. Keep going. We have three. We have two. One more. Okay, we're taking it to curls. We might have two, we might have one. 
I'm going to rotate my arms, squeezing the core as I bring this up, rotate, bring it down. I want us to think about squeezing our abdominals at the toughest part of this curl. We are not going to throw the hips forward, okay? So if that means we need a lighter weight or even one, we could do that. And we could practice keeping the tension while lengthening the core and lowering down. It's a little different, but not too different. We're still working the same muscles, using the core here. Let's go for three more. Three. Two. One more, make it a good one. One. Ooh, awesome. Okay, we have one more move and it's a shoulder press. So what do we have here? We could take one, we could take two dumbbells. I'm gonna bring them up. I'm gonna have them a little bit higher than how I have them for the top of the curl. I am going to have them parallel, okay? We're gonna try our best to not uh, open up the rib cage and send the lumbar into a shortened position, okay? We are going to press up and lower down. This variation, I'm keeping it parallel. A couple of soft bent knees using the core. We do have one. We could hold one head of the dumbbell in each hand. Shoulders back. You can do this. Give me three. We're right here at the end. Two. Last one. When you bring it down, be nice to your back. Use your core, send the hips back. And you made it. <laughs> I felt my head throw back, <laughs> but it's still the same. You made it. I am so proud of you. This is one round. So if you have a goal of finishing this round, I think that's a wonderful goal. If you would like to try this more than once, let me know how many rounds you make it. And if you have any questions for me, always ask. Millie and I have a Patreon and we would love to see you over there. It is $1.99 per month and we are posting each month and we would love to have you over there. I am so grateful that you came to work out with us today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.